What's up, tech fans? Looking for a GTX 980 Ti that's extremely overclocked with a shit ton of features? Then let's check out Gigabyte's GV N98 T Extreme 6GD video card. So as we take a look at the front of the card, you guys can see there are three fans. But the really interesting thing is that this middle fan actually spins in the reverse direction of these fans. And Gigabyte says that this actually helps dissipate the heat more evenly and better than a standard design, which you guys will actually see mm, works. And for you folks out there who aren't familiar with Gigabyte cards, they call this their Windforce cooling design. This is actually the third iteration of it, and it works damn well. They also have another feature on the card called Fan Stop. This is part of their 3D cooling solution. And what it does is that basically if your card doesn't need the cooling, the fans will stop functioning. And there's a little button right up here that says Fan Stop. And if this is lit, that means you don't have to freak out. Your card's not broken or anything else. It's just that it doesn't need the cooling right now. So the fans, they're not a moving. And while we're still on basically the front side of the card, there's something really awesome about this card that people out there doing custom builds are going to totally dig. And this is the ability to do 16.8 million different color variations via the lights that are back behind the card. They're kind of hard to see, but there are a bunch of LED lights back behind each fan. And these can all be set up to your own custom color, which is really cool. So if you have a theme in your system that has a certain color, you're gonna be able to set your card to match that, which I think is a really Really, really awesome feature. And just to be matchy matchy and color coordinated, the Windforce logo lights up in that same color as well. Now I know just through video footage, you guys can't actually totally clearly see the cooling system that's underneath the card, but this card is really fleshed out. It comes with a core base clock of 1216 megahertz and a boost clock of 1317 megahertz. The standard clock speeds are 1000 for the base and 1075 for the boost, so this is a massively overclocked card right out of the box. The card has a memory clock speed of 7200 MHz, 6 GB of GDDR5 memory, and a 384-bit memory bus. The card has a digital maximum resolution of 4096 by 2160 which is totally 4K capable, and an analog max resolution of 2048 by 1536 and real quick, as we look at the bottom of the card, you guys can see more of the cooling solution. You guys can see those aluminum heat fins and you can also see those copper heat pipes. And one of my personal favorite features on any video card is a killer backplate, just like this one. Totally solid, protects your hand, protects your card. Now, Gigabyte's actually made the PCB to be much more user-friendly than previous generations. So even if this wasn't on here, the PCB wouldn't cut your hand up at all. It's actually very user-friendly. And another thing is, is the whole PCB board is covered in this whole new aircraft type style coating that makes it sort of last much longer. This new aerospace PCB coating shields the circuit board from things like dust, insects, drop screws, drill shavings, and abrasion. The PCB is also moisture resistant and it prevents unwanted conduction paths and board damage. This should actually expand the lifetime of your card as well because the card and the PCB itself will stay pristine for a much longer time. And real quick, before we talk about the power requirements, let's take a look at the output on the rear of the card. This card features three display ports, a single HDMI, and a single DVI port. As far as power requirements go, Gigabyte recommends a 600 watt power supply to give this baby enough juice to keep going. And right here on top, you guys can see there are two eight pin power connectors. But what's really cool are these two little lights right above the power connectors. Now, when these lights are staying solid, that means the card's getting the perfect amount of electricity to it and everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. But if you see these lights blinking, that means the card's having trouble with its power and you should definitely be looking into what's going on. But one of the most absolutely crazy features about this card is its LN2 function. And all you gotta do to enable that is push this little button on the end here. Now it also has though an additional six pin power connector, which means the card's gonna get even more power. Now, me, you, 
we're probably not going to go out and get all this LN2 cool. We're not going to pour liquid nitrogen into our card. But for those people out there who do this, this is a really extremely awesome feature. But even out of the box with the cooling that's on it, this card does great overclocking. Like I said, right out of the box, man, the base clock in this thing is 1216 and the overclock boost is 1317. That's just right out of the box. And that's almost 2000 points above the standard reference clock speed. And this card stays cool. So, huh, shit works. And last but not least, also in the back of the card, you guys can see there are two SLI fingers. And yes, this bad boy can be done in quad oh, SLI. SLI. Now, before we jump into the benchies, though, I have to mention that there are a few features about this car that are actually under the hood and you can't see with the naked eye. And these are all part of the ultra durable series, which means that they use the absolute best parts that they can find. They have two extra ounces of copper. They have the best MOSFETs, the best chokes, just absolutely the best parts. They call this gauntlet picking, which means they hand pick and cherry pick all the parts for these cards to make sure that they're the absolute best that they can be. And another thing that helps with the extreme overclocking is the 12 plus 2 power phases. And unlike the reference design, the 12 plus 2 power phase actually keeps the MOSFET running at a much lower temperature, which ensures stability throughout the card. All of Gigabyte's extreme gaming graphics cards are engineered to the same quality as a Titan X, which means they use the highest grade capacitors and chokes, which should mean higher performance and a longer lifespan of your card. All right, techers, so there you have it. The aesthetics of the card, it speeds and feeds, it's special features, but now let's jump into the benchmark song and see how this card does against the competition in Windows 10. It's time to rock. <laughs> You're back. So there you guys have it, folks. Now you guys can see that this card right now is the fastest GTX 980 Ti we have ever tested. It actually even inches ahead, if not just by a wee bit, than that Zotec 980 Ti Extreme that we tested a long time ago. Now that card was the fastest card for the longest time, but this card is just, like I said, a wee bit faster, and it's just a wee bit cooler as well, and that's going to help in using that boost. Now these guys have their own OC Guru software for overclock Honestly, I don't really like that. I prefer Afterburner or something from EVJ. Either one of those works to me a lot better. 
I didn't really even do too much overclocking at all. I played around with it, but for me, honestly, these clock speeds are perfect for me. I don't want my card to burn out. I like buying the highest end card that's already overclocked so that when you get it, you can just keep it that way and your card will run for a really long time. Now, if I was out there trying to, you know, get some a high number out there in 3D Mark or something like that, then maybe I'd go ahead and screw around with that and do it. But really, I like the card. I like it the way it is, and I like to keep those, you know, fans running for me as, you know, low as possible to not create a huge noise disturbance. Now, before in the last video, we talked about something in that system. You guys said, oh my God, Elric, you know, you guys played the music and uh, how do we know if the system, well, that same system is actually not to break the, the mood here, but it's in the background right now. You guys can't hear it. The T-Buyer system is very, very quiet. Just wanted to throw that out there. Sorry to interrupt the flow. Now, this card though does have a few caveats. It's almost 700 bucks. It's like, you know, teetering between the six and $700 mark, depending on where you get it at. We'll have a link below where you guys can check out more information about the card, or if you guys want to purchase one, it'll be there as well. But overall, I gotta say that this card is pretty damn badass. It's obviously a very, very long card though. It's gonna take up a lot of space in a case, so make sure that you have the right case so the thing's not doing that saggy thing that people complain about. You wanna have the, you know, proper support for your card. But other than that, you guys can see this thing's fast, it runs really cool, and like I said, there's plenty of headroom in there within those temperatures to do even more additional overclocking. So if you love doing that kind of stuff, then this card might be the one that you're looking for. Now, I haven't actually got a hold of any of the EVGA stuff lately. I'd like to get one of their cards in and try their precision software and see if it's any faster. I guess they'll have to contact Jacob over there and see what's up, but uh, for me personally right now, this particular version, the GV long nomenclature, dash NVU, ah, X Extreme, dash 6GD is the fastest card we've seen yet. I wanna see your guys' comments down below. And also, before you guys say, why aren't I using a bunch of more new games? Man, I just barely got stuff set up in the Windows 10 and got it going. We'll bring more stuff as we do it. I'll get more cards and increase the testing. But for now, this is what I got. At least I got the, you know, the new OS and everything upgraded and a new test system. So just bear with me. So peace out. We'll see you guys back in Tekken tomorrow where we got even more systems coming and obviously more giveaways. See you next week.